Ladies and gentlemen, the award-winning five-star worldwide Christian radio talk show awarded by National Association of Broadcasters and a five-star awardee of Christian Music Parade, the arising Christian music artist, live from Radio Station World, here's the arising Christian radio host, Baby Siv. Good evening, America. Uh, Sister Jacqueline, are you there? Evangelist Jacqueline. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Can you hear me, Sister? Yes, Evangelist. Yes. Okay. Yes, I think I uh, we have. I think we have the guest on the show tonight, and he's a very special guest. But uh, before we go on, of course, we wanna we wanna greet uh, United States of America. It's right now eighty nine point. <laughs> Crowd 
but it's too high. It's 89.5 percent listening right now. America, the 89.5 percent. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna put in our our special guest on the show. I believe that he's on the air right now. I believe that uh, Pastor Tim Thompson, for the second time around, you guys, he's right here on the air. Yes. <laughs> Pastor Tim Thompson, are you on the yes. air, sir? Hello, Pastor. Yes, I am. How are you doing tonight? How are you doing tonight? Really. I am just so honored to be back on your show again, and I just cannot thank you enough. You are so very kind to bring me back on your show. Amen. Amen. In that frequency, and with us today, Pastor Tim is Evangelist Jacqueline on the show with us today. And I was just, I was just announcing to the public, to the uh, America right now, uh, the frequency of America is eighty nine point five percent are listening. How about that? We're going to go into the show, and I'm just looking at the geography right now. Africa, 7% listening, 7%. India, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, 10% listeners. Dubai, Dubai, 15% listeners. Singapore, Cambodia, Malaysia, 15% listeners. Philippines, 25% listeners. Liberia, 1% listeners. Germany, London, Canada, 15% listeners. Croatia, 1%. Ghana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Cameroon, Nigeria, 20% are listeners. Pakistan, 10% are listeners. Australia, 20% are listening. And United States, 89.5%. Of course, yeah. I want I want to thank our sponsors of this show, Sales Jewelry. Still, uh, my sponsor. You get thirty percent discount. We, men- we mentioned Baby Slab Show, Planet Fitness, AutoZone, Wendy's Hamburger. I mean AutoZone. <laughs> uh, uh, ADT Security Alarm System, Dish Network. Go to AlwaysNetsFlowers dot com. They are sponsors. And of course, Del Taco is now one of the sponsors of the show. <laughs> and, yes, uh, they're located right here on Ma- Mount Vernon and Gosford up here in Bakersfield. And Senior Life Insurance, uh, call 1-855-983-7244. I have to put uh, effort on Senior Life Insurance, BYP501. Baby Sled Show, you get 40% discount off for senior citizen. God bless you. Hallelujah. So let's go to the show. If you want to be sponsored of the show, P- uh, Baby Sled Show, P.O. Box 40921, Bakersfield, California, 93384. Again, Baby Sled Show, P.O. Box uh, 40921 Bakersfield, California, 93384. So here we are on the show. I, I would like to uh, give our condolences to to the late uh, Ter- uh, the, the Who's that? Who's that uh, radio talk show? Talk, uh, talk, uh, uh, radio talk and broadcaster that just passed away. Do you know him, uh, Sister Jacqueline? Uh, I think he's a sports. Uh, He's a sports uh, talk show. Uh, I uh, Mike Tri- yeah, Mike Tribos. <laughs> I don't know how to say his last name. Mike Tribosimo, uh just passed away, and we want to extend our condolences to his family. He's a radio talk show. He's famous. Do you know him? Amen. Yes. yes so I've we heard want- of him. Yes. Yeah. He's so we'd like to uh, extend our condolences. Okay, we're back here to Pastor Tim. Pastor Tim Thompson is on the show, guys. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, okay, Pastor, Pastor, you know what? It's timely because, you know, I, I was supposed to have a guest on this day, but uh, it came to me. It, it was supposed to have a, a, a guest this day, but you were there. You were there. You were there. And, and God told me that he's the right one to be on the show because Halloween is about to be. So I think Halloween is it will be tomorrow, right? Is Halloween to be tomorrow? Yes. Sunday. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, Pastor. Tomorrow. Pastor. Okay, Pastor Tim Thompson is uh, 
A-L. You can, you can heard or has been featured on PBN um, TV and um, 700 Globe. And his story is on Charisma Magazine. That's something else. Oh, wow. He is not an ordinary pastor. He is not. He is not. Uh, he is not. I'm, I'm talking about. He is not a phony. A phony one too. He's not a phony one. <laughs> he's not. He, his story is real. Is real. He, uh, this is is real. And he's the best sellers of books on the spiritual spiritual warfare. It's not just on his or, or or his books is everywhere. You can uh, go and look at it on major music, uh, major platforms of music. And I think Pastor Tim, your books is in Walmart, right, Pastor? Pastor? Yes, um, I've got I've got eleven of the fourteen books selling at Walmart now. Praise yeah, God. I think I think I saw one of them. Uh, one of them cost. Uh, seven dollars, and I think uh, I, I'm I'm gonna go and buy that. Did you put on sale, or they did it? I uh, no, uh, woman of God, no. They each store in each uh, website gives uh, gives their own prices. Okay, because I see okay. seven dollars mark on Walmart with your books. How about that, guys? It's been an honor to have you here, sir. Glad and. Uh, yeah, I thank you that you're here today. So let me just tell you, uh, t- tell him about something about him. Uh, he's an anointed pastor, very humble man, very, very humble man, you know, and he's for real. He just spoke re- reality and everything. He He's not, um, he don't, he, he don't, he don't, uh, it's not like, I don't want to say anything, but there are, there Christians that that uh, that that pretend, yeah, these are Christians that pretend. <laughs> you go with laughing. He don't pretend. He he's he's real. He's just real. So um, this big his his story is very controversial on TV on on Seven Hundred Club TV and 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 Charisma Magazine, and he used to be a Satanist. Am I say am I saying it right this time? Because I said last time Satanist. I think it's all the same. Satanist. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be a Satanist. Um, he used to perform um, devil's uh, witchcraft. Yes, and uh, he used to be on on rehabilitation. He was on drugs, and now he's recovered, and now he's being used by God, and his writings are tremendously, tremendously anointed. Hallelujah. Uh, we give you, uh, it's an honor to, for you to be here, sir. Sir? Well, I, I just am so blessed and so honored to be back on your show again. When I, when you asked me to be on your show again, I just felt so deeply blessed by this Amen. to be on your show again. Because I, I love you and I love your show and I love what you're doing. So I just really <laughs> want you to know how much I appreciate you. Yes, yes, uh, Pastor. Uh, we we just started the show, but there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, feedbacks from the from the from the uh, from the audience already. But uh, before I read that, I wanna um, uh, uh, Halloween is uh, coming. So what did you do before uh, when you were you were still Satanist? What did you do during Halloween time? Oh. It, well, it just depends on what time of the period it was and how old I was. Uh, anywhere from uh, literally people would uh, poison candy, and then uh-huh. they would take it to a party, and people would eat it, knowing they knew that it was poisonous, but they knew it was going to alter their mind. So it oh, would open up ki- their mind completely to demonic things. Okay, what kind of poison people, are they? What kind? Do you have idea what kind of poison? Well, it's you anywhere idea? from hallucinogens, a lot of hallucinogens, chemicals that would make you see things and have you really strange thoughts. Oh, oh, and that so was that's very common. That, so that's like drugs or something. It's like a yes, drug. Exactly. Okay. Yes, okay, Pastor. Exactly. Pastor, we have somebody else on the air. Also, I believe uh, we have Sister Mary Lou uh, Arnold in the show. Yes, hello. Oh, hello, okay. Hello, uh, everybody. Yes. Uh, Sister Marilyn with us today is Evangelist Jacqueline uh, uh, with us. 
and Pastor Tim, our special guest. Uh, he's uh, he's been featured on TBN and 700 Club, and his story is on Charisma Magazine. It's a it's a big honor for him to be here, and the crowd is here because the 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 is uh, looking at the frequency uh, right now and the geography of the show for just for United it's 89.5 percent are listening right now. <laughs> so. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so we are very grateful to have him. But he was telling that the, the, during Halloween time, when he, he used to be a Satanist, they, did you participate, Pastor, in putting up some poison on the candy? Yes, yeah. What they would do is, is that uh, hallucinogenic mushrooms, it was very common to boil those mm-hmm. to get the poisons to come out of them, and then they would literally soak them right in candy or soak them right in fruit. And then when oh. people would eat them, they didn't realize how potent see, those were because instead of just eating a, a, a tiny piece of a mushroom, they were actually eating containing four or five mushrooms at one time. So it was very common to feel like you were going insane for hours or for days. Uh, Amen. What, what, wow. what, did you, what did you say about mushroom? Mushroom, mushroom feels to a taste good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is uh, that like a real mushroom? No. Uh, hallucinogenic but, mushrooms. Oh, they, okay. Uh, wow. They grow okay, very okay. good with, uh, like, cow manure. Okay. Uh, mm. What 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 else did you do besides uh, putting some poison in the candy? Uh, it was very common to gather uh, different stones because you had to have the right stone for to literally have the knife that was going to cut the fruit or cut people's wrists to drain blood. Did you ever, what kind of blood? What kind of blood did you guys human drink? Blood. Oh yeah, my human gosh. Blood. Human did, blood did mixed you... with uh, human urination. Oh my. Where, where, where do you guys get that? Stuff from right there from the people. How, how you guys do that? I mean, I mean uh, do, do you like uh, do some kind of witchcraft or something to get... How do you uh, get the blood? Well, you... yes, but it is to say you would you would put a person under a spell, and see that's why with the ministry that God has given me, I teach people how to break hexes and vexes and spells and curses, because a, a lot of people don't even know that you can be under a spell, and I've seen people do this. So go shopping, and all suddenly uh-huh. they're buying twenty things that they didn't even need, and then they uh-huh. leave the store in a state of dazed and confused because they were under a spell and they walk out of the store with, say, for instance, 20 uh, 20 bags of candy or they'll leave with like uh, five uh, big bags of potatoes and they're Mm -hmm. thinking, why did I just do that? Well, because they were under a spell and see, but uh, no, it's very common. People would literally uh, put like a small, they would either heat up a, a blade or they would take a mm-hmm. razor blade and, and cut their hand open, and then mm-hmm. as they would let the blood hit a Ouija board, and as it was hitting a Ouija board, they would literally be casting spells as it was hitting the Ouija board, and they would be able to, to literally cause uh, cause spirits to arise. Oh wow! Uh, uh, did you ever sip a blood of a oh, a sip of blood of a of a of a person before? Did you ever? Have them blood? Did I, I, mean, you, did I ever do yeah. what? What, sister? I'm sorry. Just like a sip of blood of a person. Uh, did you ever sip a blood before? A real blood of a person? Oh, yes. Very many times. Yes. Yeah. Everything oh. from human knee, uh, human urination to human feces. Y- you wow. did? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> that was okay, very common so- because, see, you wanted to, you wanted to cause demonic entities to come forward and to arise. Uh-huh. Wow. So see, okay. the whole point was to, to summon spirits. If you could summon spirits, then you literally had a lot of power with you. It's the same concept as when you start praying to God and you uh-huh. start believing for God to really touch uh-huh. your life. It's the same thing when you summon spirits. You've got all these spirits now that are clinging to you that you've invited into your life and into your heart. Okay, okay, uh, 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 sister, <laughs> I, 
I'm being I'm, I'm being okay. I'm being a uh, like I'm 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 out of um uh, I'm out of uh <laughs> I'm out of words right now in here. I'm just shocked. Uh, so sister J- uh, evangelist Jacqueline and sister Mary Lou, you can interact as, as long as you want and ask questions to Pastor Tim. You take advantage while he's here, so you can ask questions to him while we're going into the show. So sir, uh, after doing this ritual. What what happened? What what do you guys do? What 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 is your goal for doing this kind of ritual? Well, the the biggest thing is is that a lot of people thought that they claim that Satanists love sex, and it's not that. What it is is that Satanists know how to transfer energies, which is demonic spirits. So if you commit an abomination and you mm-hmm. commit sexual sin, you'll be transferring those energies or those spirits from one person to the next. Oh, and so amen. what happens is, is that one person, uh, by the end of the night, they've mm-hmm. slept with 15 different people, okay? So if they've oh. had sex with 15 different people, and oh. every every one they slept with was communicating with 25 to 50 spirits, oh, just wow. imagine the amount of power they wake up with after they come out of delusion of having sex with that many people. Now their identity is totally gone. Because mm-hmm. now they realize their identity is really consumed in pure evil. Oh wow! Oh, oh, so, so, Pastor, uh, why is do you think uh, the specialty of of, uh, of the devil is, is is sex? Is sex? I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's because what it is is not only is it an abomination under God. And it, uh-huh. and it really is against God, but it also is so you can transfer different things so you can get more energies inside of you, and those energies are out like what spirits are. And so, uh-huh. for instance, if a person is lacking in one area of their life, say, for instance, they can't spell or they can't do math very well, they want uh-huh. to literally have sex with as many people as they can that are good in that subject, so that way when they come out of their trance, now all of a sudden they, they can do things they could never do before. I've met multiple uh-huh. people that literally were surprised of how well they could literally do things that they never thought they could ever do. And anywhere from uh, being – they're no longer afraid of heights to where now uh-huh. all of a sudden they're doing things that just un- seem unnatural. And like I've, I've I actually met a couple that their child was only five years old that could walk up the side of a wall. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Wow. But see, when you wow. start transferring these energies, you got to remember, they're not, people don't realize, these are not personalities you're transferring. You're actually uh-huh. transferring spirits into a person or into a child or into a baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Amen. That, that, that's yeah. why, that's why it's, it's very, it's, uh, don't commit fornication because... <laughs> Well, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's really surprising, though, my my dear friend, is that people will say to me, I I, I um I don't go near a Ouija board, but I'll call a psychic because I don't have a problem calling a psychic. And I say, you know what they're doing? The a person uh-huh. who you're calling is a psychic. I used to be a psychic. Uh-huh. And how I made a lot of money being a psychic is I would literally uh-huh. conjure up spirits. And those spirits would uh-huh. then tell me about a person or what they what, what was inside their wallet or uh-huh. where did they get their jewelry from. And people were just amazed that I could actually sit there and talk to um, very, very – like I can actually have a communication with familiar spirits just like I could a human being. To where oh, the familiar wow. spirits could literally tell me what was the person's social security number or how much money was in their wallet. And because oh. I would sit there and bet them and have bets with them, and I could tell them where their jewelry would come from, they would literally give me money or give me their jewelry because I was able oh. to tell them where it came from. And they were shocked that I knew so much about their personal life, and they, oh. they could not figure out how I could do it. But what they didn't understand is that I would sit there and communicate with familiar spirits just like I was a human being. And what a lot of Christians who get into uh, Halloween don't realize, when you start burning, it doesn't matter if it's a white candle or a black candle, 
uh-huh. if you're trying to communicate with the other side, you uh-huh. might as well go ahead and go into a room all by yourself, a very uh-huh. dark room, light a candle, and just call upon uh-huh. the name of Lucifer because you're literally opening up doors that are so dangerous that by the time you're done trying to summon uh-huh. spirits, you may uh-huh. not you may not come back to this world. Your oh, mind wow. may be gone completely. Wow. So See, Pastor, I find uh, it incredible uh-huh. that it is a proven fact that nine out of ten people who mentally go insane have uh-huh. a spiritual experience. Oh Amen. Wow. If you're not if you're not covered by the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. and you are not under the protection of Jesus Christ, blood the Amen. minute you go into the spiritual realm is the minute you may never come back. Mm. Pastor, uh, let me ask you, Amen. Let me ask you something. Why because Halloween is so dangerous mm-hmm. because Halloween, a lot of people think, oh, it's just I'm just doing this or I'm just doing that for fun. Uh-huh. No, you're not. What you mm-hmm. are is you, you it, fake blood, uh, fake cuts, demonic oh. faces, scary uh-huh. looking stuff. Those yes. are all ways to summon spirits. Amen. Pastor, um, you mentioned mm-hmm. about the the candle lighting. So there are people who that they have loved ones who pass away and stuff like that. They put candle on their profile, even on Facebook, red candle, black candle, white candle. So these are all yeah. like uh uh these are all agenda of Satan to to light up the candle. Yes, they are, exactly. Exactly. That's why uh, some. That's why I um, I've been asked. I've been uh, been put in a uh, Facebook jail multiple times, and uh, Facebook has threatened to totally delete my uh, my page and everything uh-huh. because for the simple fact is on that I expose different religions and see the Bible is very clear about this that if if you worship anything but jesus christ mm-hmm. or the living god you're committing mm-hmm. an abomination mm-hmm. when a, well when a when a catholic bows down to a statue and kisses mm-hmm. his feet mm-hmm. they don't realize they're kissing the feet of a demon because those okay. things were created by people who are literally listening to demons okay so in other words when you light up the candle when you light up the candle something like that you're inviting like a spirit it, you be spirit exactly yes okay yes. so and see, and, what's and, that and, and just yesterday i had a really good discussion with a group of people about uh about scented since uh since the scented yes. six yes and i yes, said yes. if you read in the book of proverbs uh-huh. the bible is very clear that god said he loves the aroma coming through it to his nose because yes. mm-hmm. for the simple fact is god loves scents He's the one that what? made the smell of cinnamon and all what? these other things. So Pastor, what burning incense is, is not a sin, but what's a sin uh-huh. is when you are burning something to try uh-huh. to summon a spirit or to call upon a spirit. Then uh-huh. what you're doing is you're trying to arouse spirits to be enjoying themselves instead of the living God. Amen. Amen. I believe that. Amen. And, and I call it. Can I add? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wanted to ask him a question. Okay, uh-huh. so if a person is burning a uh, white candle, candle or or red candle representing the blood of Jesus Christ, white for purity, okay, uh, cleansing, and if they're doing a fast and they're, they, they may be calling upon their ancestors, their mother, their grandmother, their grandfather, uh-huh. asking for protection, asking for guidance, you know, uh, protection over the enemy so and if the candles even have some of them have you're praying to jesus to god in the name of jesus so that's calling upon lucifer i'm confused about that exactly I need exactly yes well the reason mm-hmm. why is because mm-hmm. my my friend you got to look at it like this way mm-hmm. is that if it's not in the word of god Amen. definitely in the word of god why would a uh-huh. christian be doing it See, it's like these people that claim that they're Christians, mm-hmm. but yet they they, yet they, they want to hold a rosary. Well, Amen. did you know the plastic beads from a rosary mm-hmm. are the same type of plastic that you can use and buy for your kitchen utensils? Mm-hmm. It's the same type of plastic. Okay. 
So, so mm-hmm. what's the difference between holding a rosary and holding a cooking utensil? There's no mm-hmm. difference at all. See, okay. when you start Amen. depending Amen. on something of this world instead of depending on the Holy Ghost, you're Amen. getting into very dangerous ground because uh-huh. if people say, oh, I can't hear from God, and I tell them you need a double dose of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. You need yep. a double Amen. dose. Amen. Uh-huh. Because I tell people, you want to you want to experience the power of God, get into the dose of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Amen. Yes. But but yes, pastor, yes. but pastor, even though the candles have the okay, friend, stop, guys. Huh? Even though the candles that you using, you're praying to God, the universe. Okay, uh, archangels, guardian angels, like I said, your loved ones who you know help lead and guide you. I feel okay, that I right mean, there. That's... What you just said is 100% demonic. <laughs> you cannot yep. show me one place in the Bible where it says oh, an man. angel will guard, will guide you right. and guard and guide you, yes. because the Bible says the only one <laughs> that can lead you and guide you to all truth and knowing the truth is the Lord loving Holy God. Spirit. Amen. 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 You, Amen. You Amen. In an angel, you are <laughs> opening the door for literally. For a demonic spirit to come right in. I, uh-huh. I've met people that literally prayed to Gabriel, and they uh-huh. ended up getting a divorce. Because oh, they, they ended up getting a divorce. Mm-hmm. Yes, because, because the only the... one that you oh, can my. put your trust in, and Amen. truly put your trust in, and that mm-hmm. is the Holy God. Spirit, or God the loving Father, or Jesus Christ. Jesus yes, Christ, yes, yes, yes. You start see, calling upon like the, the Bible is very clear about this. All yes. glory, all power, yes. all yes. authority, all Hallelujah. wisdom, all yes. knowledge, all love, and all mercy, Amen. and all forgiveness is yes. through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Because remember, Lucifer oh. is an angel of light. Lucifer is an angel exactly. of light. Everything that you're doing Amen. are rituals. Read 12, it's not from God. It's not from the Bible. Thank you, Pastor Tim. Uh, Sister Marilou, do you have any additional to say or question regarding about that? I know that your your kindred are Catholic. Yes, yes I used to yes. be. Um, uh-huh. yeah. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, okay. Yes. yes, okay. I have just been... Um, I have a Bible verse here, you know, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. And I am so glad you're exposing them tonight. Amen. Well, Amen. I'm welcome, so welcome, welcome, right welcome to, I, I want to I want to share something with you. Yes, In Pastor. Second Timothy yes. chapter three verse seven it says they're always learning, but mm-hmm. they're never able to come to the knowledge of truth. The reason mm-hmm. why? Yes. It's because Mm -hmm. people say to me, well, I can't see God. I can't see the Holy Spirit. So that's Mm -hmm. why I'm putting my trust in in these beads, or I'm putting my trust in a Ouija board, or I'm putting my trust in in a psychic. thing is is that what these people don't realize is Mm -hmm. that they're being blinded and they're ignorant to the truth because the spiritual realm is so much more real than the physical realm. And if you really close your eyes... And you mm-hmm. ask God to give you eyes of the spirit mm-hmm. and show you, you will begin to see that the spiritual realm is much more real than the chair you're sitting on. Woo, Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And Amen. God will do just what you ask. And God will do just what you ask. Mm-hmm. If you have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed and ask anything in his name, <laughs> yes, you will. That third eye will be open. You are awake. He will show you. The truth, the way Amen. So true. Amen. Okay. I was so See, the, the problem is, is that with Halloween, mm-hmm. a lot of mm-hmm. people don't realize that that almost every single thing that you buy that is related to Halloween yes, is I connected see. to the things of this beast. And, and uh-huh. here's what I find so incredible. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is that if you ask the average Christian about a crow, they're mm-hmm. all going to tell you that crows are of the devil. Well, I tell them, uh-huh. I said, show me that in the Bible, and that's <laughs> not even 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 in the Satanic Bible. And they said no, and I said no. You know what? You know what? The, you know what? It's actually in the Holy Bible. That yes, is the first. Uh huh. It's the bald eagle, 
And uh-huh. the reason why is because uh-huh. anything that eats anything from the dead uh-huh. is not was not trusting in God, so it became a curse. So the bald eagle and the vulture are cursed birds, not the crow. Oh. But see, oh, so many wow. people, what they do is it's so funny. They watch a Hollywood movie, and then they think, oh, well, Hollywood says this, so it must be true. And this is what's destroying the church today is mm-hmm. too many Christians are not arising to the level to where Jesus said you will do greater things than me. So many Hallelujah. Christians are waiting yes. and waiting and waiting for somebody <laughs> to tell them what to do when actually uh-huh. the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ have already told us what to do. And that oh, is to rise and run to the battle and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, it is finished. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It is finished. Pastor, uh, I see. Uh, so what else do you do during Halloween this, this side of that? Do you do? Well, uh, a, a lot of times it was a fear. You want to put fear into people. Mm-hmm. And you want to, because, see, with fear, you can control them. That's mm-hmm. why I think it's amazing that we live in a culture now to where we want to erase all history. We don't want anybody mm-hmm. to know anything about history. But mm-hmm. yet Adolf Hitler and Stalin both made it very clear if Uh you take food away from people you Uh take their security away and Uh you can control them through fear and that's why over and over again over 700 times the Uh bible says fear not but yet Uh you talk to the average christian and the average christian is going to tell you about how they're literally so fearful of what's going on today but yet, what they don't realize yes. is that fear is like a magnet. It will cause yes. you to walk in more fear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Uh, yeah, Pastor, Amen. Pastor you th- I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the candle and stuff like that. You can really sense the distinctive smell of an evil. Uh, for me, you know, the, oh, like, you can. Uh, you can. Yes, you can. Just the smell of the candles, smell of those uh, um, uh the smoke thing that whatever uh, they putting in, you, you, you can you can yeah. smell the scent of an evil. You can smell it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's for yeah. me. Not, See, that's why. Not that's why I tell people it is so important that you really get. See, this is the problem also that I'm seeing all over our culture now. Wherever I go, mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. so many people can quote the Bible, mm-hmm. they can teach about the Bible. They uh-huh. love their titles. Oh, I'm a prophet. Uh-huh. I'm an apostle. I'm a pastor. <laughs> they love all these titles. They love to quote the Bible, but they do not walk in the Bible. They don't want the anointing. So what they are, they're like a loud gang. Just a loud gang. That's yeah. all they're doing. And yet there's no power. There's no authority. They're just <laughs> making a loud noise. And they're very weak because in, in, cause look, at, I want you to realize something today. In uh-huh. today's life, we have more people graduating from Bible colleges than ever before uh-huh. in history. We've got mm-hmm. more Bible colleges than ever before in history. And we've got more Bible studies, more mm-hmm. prayer groups, and more churches mm-hmm. than we ever have in U.S. history. But uh, mm-hmm. if all those things are true, then uh-huh. why is domestic violence up over 300% in just the last two years? Why is uh-huh. suicide up over a thousand yep. percent in the last two years? Why is yes. alcoholism, drug abuse, yes. oh, mm-hmm. and all these things are skyrocketing, but yet all these people are supposedly graduating from Bible colleges and going to these <laughs> spiritual warfare classes. I had a person one time tell me, yes. they bought all yes. my books, and mm-hmm. I said, what did you learn? And they said, I learned a lot. And I said, then why are you here at one of my seminars? I said, if you've learned so much, why are you here? Why aren't you out in the suburbs and out in there and ministering to the lost? You don't need more. To see, that's why. I, that's why I quit. That's why I, I moved away from Tulsa, Oklahoma, because uh-huh. Tulsa, Oklahoma was a great place. But the problem oh. is, is that people were becoming so spiritually fat, they became uh-huh. so lazy because they knew so much. That's uh-huh. why America needs to be shaken. We need to get it in our spirits to be shaken because it's time for us to quit learning and for us to start doing. And, and coronavirus is not e- even Amen. enough to be shaken. Coronavirus is not even enough to be shaken. 
<laughs> but it's still the same. Because I want to see, I want, sister, I want to share this with you. Yes, sir. In the sir. book of John, chapter 12, verse 32, it says, If my name is lifted up from the earth, mm-hmm. I will all draw all men unto myself. Amen. But see, you know what we're doing? In today's life, we're not lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. We're having contests about who's got the bigger church, who's got the nicest <laughs> stereo system, and who's got the nicest carpet. And so we're not worried about what's lifting up the name of Jesus Christ because we're so busy about getting our name out there. That's uh-huh, how I, uh-huh. I've, I've been on actually two other radio programs and other people's shows, and I told them no. And they uh-huh. said, why won't you come on my show? And I said, because. Most of your guests that you have on your show want this and want that. And the thing is, is that why would you give them anything when the gospel is for free? It's just through Jesus Christ (laughs) that I have been set free. So that's why I have respect for these people that say, oh, I need to be paid $1,000, $5,000 to speak. (laughs) I said, I wouldn't even even give you a penny because to me, you're insulting (laughs) the... The power and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's why I wouldn't even give you a penny. That's why most evangelists, I will not even do conference with them, with them because well, the way they act, uh-huh. they act like they're doing like they're doing everybody a favor. They're not doing mm-hmm. nobody a favor. It's yes, not sir. about us. It's not about our church. It's not yes. about our ministry. It's uh-huh. about lifting up the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Because I, yes, I, I yes, teach yes, people yes, yes, yes. I, yes, this. Yes, is one yes, thing, yes, sister, yes, I yes. teach, and I teach it very strong in my ministry that God has given me, and that is if you're not praising, worshiping, yes. glorifying, exalting, or honoring Jesus Christ, yes. why in the world are you even living? <laughs> yes, amen. That's it. That's amen. The way it is. I don't care, I don't care if amen. I'm making a, a box of, of macaroni cheese or I'm <laughs> A friend from speak somewhere, or I'm going, or I'm on a road trip. If I'm not doing one of those five things, then I got to ask myself, why am I even breathing? Amen. Because Amen. my life is all about Jesus Christ. Whoo! Hallelujah. So, so Amen. Pastor, let me ask you a question, Pastor Tim. So why'd you come to Baby Surf Show? Why'd you come to Baby Surf Show? <laughs> Because for the simple fact is that I know in my spirit that not only do you really honor Jesus Christ, but you live it. You're not out there trying to promote you. You're out there promoting the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You have the heart to desire that I have, and that is I want to see people be set free. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I want people when they wake up in the morning and they're feeling depressed. I want yes. them to learn how to laugh at depression. Yes. When, yes. when you Hallelujah. get a bill, when you get that electricity bill in the mail, and you don't have any money to pay it, I want you to learn how to laugh. Because uh-huh. for the simple uh-huh. fact is the joy of the Lord is our strength. And when Ooh. you learn yes. how to laugh, yes. 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 and you learn how to praise Jesus Christ, you will be walking in a whole new level of anointing. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's true. I, 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 I find it too hard, Pastor, those who are like mega, mega, mega well-known, uh, well-known pastors or something like that or anything. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't want to judge or anything, but it's really hard to, to be, to reach them. But you, you, you as a, as a, as a guest who known by PBN, uh, uh, 700 Club Charisma Magazine, you are here with the open arms, very, very approachable par- person, very, very humble person, Pastor Tim Thompson. Hallelujah. It's, it's, I'm, I'll, I'll I'm tell honored you something Sunday. that was really, really exciting. I was preaching one time, uh-huh. and this African-American pastor from a very poor town in uh-huh. Alabama contacted me and uh-huh. said, listen, we need to have you come out here because I need you to speak to the gangs. And I said, mm-hmm. I'll come out there, but I need you I need you to cover my flight and my motel. And she said, oh, never. We don't have that kind of money. I said, sister, you're telling me you're a Christian and you don't believe in the power of God? Well, the thing is, is within 10 days, she was able to cover all my costs. And she was just amazed. When I got mm-hmm. out there, I let her know 
that I'm going to be preaching on Philippians 2, 3, and that is let nothing be done in self-ambition or conceit. And Mm -hmm. when I started to preach about the love of God, it was just amazing to see how many African-American men and women that were leaders Mm -hmm. are crying because they realized that here I am. I've been on all these talk shows, been on all these different programs, Mm -hmm. and I'm standing there loving on them and letting them know they're very, very important to me. Well, the thing that was amazing is is that the mold and mildew in that building was really bad. Yes, Pastor. We knew that we had a problem, and we needed to face it right away because we didn't want anybody to get sick. So I just asked that the Holy Ghost bring by a a dose of fire to clean Mm -hmm. out that place. And yes. the thing that was amazing is yes. you could see that the smell of the mildew was disappearing. Ooh. See, but here's the thing. When yes. you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you can expect miracles. Because I have people yes. ask me all the time, how yes. come I'm not Hallelujah. getting my healing? How come I'm not getting my breakthrough? And I said, hmm. that's because you're claiming that you hope it comes through. You're claiming someday it's going to come through. Someday Mm -hmm. God's going to move on this. And I Mm -hmm. tell them the reason why is because you're bound by someday. I said, why Uh don't you just ask Uh the Holy Ghost to give you the anointing power to break through right now? Yes, yes. That's the thing. You can can really get excited because God is on your side. Amen. 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 Yes. Pastor Tim, being... um, been invited with several conferences, meetings worldwide, all over the place. And it's not easy mm. to, to have him as a guest, but uh, for Baby Seb show, it, it's, very, it's very easy. I'm, I'm welcome. Wow. <laughs> it's the Holy Ghost. It's, it's the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Oh, okay. okay one Pastor. time, it was so funny. I'll, uh-huh. I'll share this with you. One time, I was staring at it. In a place yes, in Canada, uh-huh. and I did not know that a lot of the Canadians knew nothing about witchcraft. So mm-hmm. I was explaining part of my testimony, and these people's mouths were just dropping open, and like nobody knew what to say to me. Mm-hmm. And I just said, "You know what? Enough about my past. It's time to start glorifying and worshiping Jesus Christ, and let's get excited about His name because I'm free, and you can be set free right now." And I I'm was amazing. Amazing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, I went from having a group of people where Woo! they were in shock to where all of a sudden the people started to literally confess their sins were out in the open and it was yes. amazing how many people were being set free. Amen. Amen. Yes. You know what I yes. you know what what I feel right now is I feel like I'm I'm talking to R W late late R W Shambach. <laughs> <laughs> Late R W uh, You know he he anointed me with oil before in Brooklyn. I went to one of oh, his wow. uh, revival meetings. He anointed me with oil on my forehead. R W Shambach. Uh, you, you remind me about him. <laughs> okay, sir. Mm-hmm. I uh, do you want me to read all these questions on the screen, or you want to continue sharing with us? I don't mind uh, uh, reading about these things on the screen. I can I can let you talk more and share more about this Halloween thing. Uh, can you just expound to the world why Halloween is bad and it's not it's not for Christians? Because there are still Christians that celebrate that celebrate festival during Halloween. But uh, and some people would just say we're just doing uh we're just doing uh what do you call this costume 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 party and stuff like that. So uh, can right. can can a Christian can celebrate something during Halloween Day? That is uh, well the thing is one thing is is here's what I have told parents, yes. and that is is that I have literally done this myself and it's really wonderful, and that uh-huh. is if you're a parent. Go out and buy your child a bag of candy and rent a movie and let them enjoy themselves knowing that they're still in the presence of God having fun. They're just not mm-hmm. out committing evil. 
Amen. See, a lot of Christians become dogmatic. For a lot of Christians, as soon as they become Christians, they all suddenly mm-hmm. become very boring and stagnant, and then they wonder why they fell away. Well, because too many Christians live in a little tiny box. It's oh. sad how many times I hear people say things that you can tell are totally legalistic, and it has nothing to do. See, the reason why I'm against this stuff so much, legalism, yes. that is, is because yes. before I got saved, mm-hmm. I had people tell me that the rock stickers on my vehicle were going to send me to hell, that my cigarettes <laughs> were going to send me to hell, drinking a beer was going to send me to hell. But nobody, nobody ever told me that Jesus Christ loves me. Nobody ever Amen, told me yes. that, they, that Jesus Christ died for me. Nobody uh-huh. ever told me that God has value in me. And nobody mm-hmm. ever told me that I could actually amount to anything. All I was doing is being told constantly I was going to go to hell. Oh, And I boy. tell people, what good wow. is that going to do? Because mm-hmm. but the simple fact is I won't tell a Mormon or a Jehovah Witness or a witch or a Satanist they're going to go to hell because most of them are going to get excited about it. Mm-hmm. Because yes. Satan has convinced them that it's, it's a great place to go. So instead, mm-hmm. I start telling them about Jesus Christ and that he died for them. And all of a sudden, things get real exciting then because mm-hmm. I had a Buddhist the other night practically run me over with a lawnmower. I mean, uh-huh. she shredded me to pieces, and it was so exciting being called so many horrible names all because of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, Sister Mary Lou, do you have any questions to Pastor Tim about what he said? Um, yes. Um, I understand all of the demonic activities that happens during this time of the year, but this is also, don't you think this is also the time that we can show love to our neighbors because they're all out there. Uh, I live in a neighborhood that's so quiet, but now this is my third year living here. And mm-hmm. as much as I don't really agree with all these things happening around me, I think, the, mm-hmm. don't you think this is also the time to show love to our neighbor by getting to know them? Uh, some of the children can dress as biblical characters. Pastor Tim, he's, he's well, telling I you that. Well, I think it's very important that no matter what time of the year it is, that see, and that's why I was saying yeah. that, I, I'm I'm not impressed by all these colleges and all these prayer groups and all these mm-hmm. classes on spiritual warfare because so many people are learning, but who's actually doing anything? Mm-hmm. See, that's why Amen. we need to quit Amen. talking and we need to get out there and start doing. Because, see, the simple Amen. fact is that I've had countless people ask me all the time, how do you find these people? How do you find it? How is it possible mm-hmm. that this ministry that God has given you has led so many thousands to Christ. And I mm-hmm. tell them, I said, because mm-hmm. when you are wanting to be used by God, God is going to use you. But if you Amen. think you're going to mm-hmm. use your gift and your tool, <laughs> you are. You do not know your Bible because where you are weak, that's when you're strong. Where you yes. are strong, you are yes. the weakest. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. God, God uses the weak one. So th- that's answering yes, your question, Sister Marilou? <laughs> Sir Mary Lou, yes. what is what is trying Continue. to say, Pastor? What she's trying to say, Pastor, is, uh, isn't it isn't it uh, okay if uh, you can let your like like a family gathering, let your kids uh, uh, dress up with Bible characters instead of Halloween figures? Yeah, if they're home, that okay? if, yeah, if they stay home, why not? Because for the simple fact is that how mm-hmm. many people when they're little dress up in their mom or dad's clothing? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, mm-hmm. I mean, so if, they're, so if they're just stay at home, why not? Because, I mean, I know people that allow their children to wear dress-up uh, clothing, like, through oh, a whole entire week straight when they're on summer vacation. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I know people okay. that when they're on Christmas break, I know I've met people that do not do not put on regular clothing for four mm-hmm. or five days straight, they wear their night clothes for four or five straight <laughs> days in a row because they, cause they're on vacation. You see what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. It's mm-hmm. wrong for us to tell children they can't dress up on something when all they're doing is wanting to be kids and just be goofy and stay at home. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. 
Uh, yes, uh, Evangelist Jacqueline, you were saying something a while ago. Yes, I wanted to ask mm-hmm. the pastor. Yes, mm-hmm. I wanted to ask the pastor due to the fact that, like, he was speaking on that he uh, was a psychic or whatever and about the mm-hmm. spells and stuff. So mm-hmm. if a person is under spell or think they're under spell, and if they was to go to burning sage, okay, to get rid of bad energy, anything that is not of God, so that's that's the devil too, you're saying? Exactly. That's why I laugh at when people mm-hmm. tell me that they threw salt. That they throw salt or they burn sage. I said, can you show me that in, in the Bible? Because I'd like to see yeah. mm-hmm. where Jesus actually was throwing salt around. Mm-hmm. And they'll look at me funny. And I was like, I was speaking one time in Dallas, Texas at a major conference. And I said, so Jesus had a lighter and was walking around with a sage in his pocket? Can you show me that <laughs> scripture? People looked at me and they were like, what is this guy talking about? And I said, well, man, he must have had a huge sack of salt because the Bible says he walked miles every day. <laughs> You see what I mean? Amen. You see how silly that sounds? We, we don't yes. need anything, but we need Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Here's my point. Yeah. That yes. When you know who you are in Christ, Amen. when you truly know the anointing, the authority uh-huh. of who you yes. are in Christ, yes. every yes. single thing of this world you will yes. laugh at if you think you're going to get any power from it. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen, Amen. hallelujah, yes. yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah, mm. hallelujah. Mm. Anything so else? So let me ask you a question, Pastor. One mm-hmm. question. Okay, so uh, by you by you knowing all this and practicing this, like with the blood and all this, the rituals, so if a person is, uh, like I said, feel like they're under spell or whatever, then uh, what, do you, what do you do to uh, help them get from up under this spell? Oh, uh-huh. that's, that's uh-huh. a very good question. Man. Oh, I like that. Called... What you do is, is that when I tell people that have been physically, sexually touched in their sleep or they felt like something was crawling on them or they felt like something was moving on them in their sleep mm-hmm. or on their bed when they were sitting there, I tell mm-hmm. people, anoint your bed, anoint uh-huh, your man. head, anoint oh, yes. your pillow, and yes. anoint your room. And you yes. asked that there would be the blood of Jesus Christ on the doorway yes. and on the window yes. seal. And you yes. asked that the blood of Jesus Christ would cleanse you, but then you pray that over your mind. See, yes. on my website, exposingthedarkness.com, mm-hmm. yes. halfway down the page, on the prayer page, I think yes. I've got different pages, but I've got a <clears throat> prayer page. And yes, it's called my, it's called the model prayer. The model yes, prayer mm-hmm. is, is, in, is in most of my books. But mm-hmm. it's the prayer that I use when I go to speak in prisons or I speak in a mental institution or yes, I sir. speak over somebody that's got cancer because uh-huh. the model prayer is a prayer that is like anointed to the point to where you will feel an earth-shaking movement in mm-hmm. your spirit when you mm-hmm. begin to speak it out. To where okay. you will feel the anointing of God really zapping every single thing around you. Because, see, mm-hmm. here's the thing. Yes, now, sir. this is a good question, and I want to mm-hmm. ask this. Yes. In the book of, in the book of Acts, mm-hmm. chapter 16, verse 17 and 18, it says yes. this girl cried out and was following Paul and his, the man that was with Paul and Silas. And the woman oh. cried out and said, these are the most high men of God. These mm-hmm. men of God are from the God. These are uh-huh. men of God, and yet the Bible says that Paul got annoyed with it, and he turned around and he rebuked the spirit of divination. But yet yes. you go to any church, yes. and you will find out that yes. when people are screaming out and shouting out a person's name and shouting out how they're so wonderful and they're so great, you don't hear anybody rebuking them. <laughs> and the thing is, I had a woman one time walk up and give me... A check for a thousand dollars, uh-huh, and the pastor was standing right there beside me, and I looked uh-huh. at the woman and I said, "You take that money back, you evil one and the pastor mm-hmm. looked at me and he said, "She just gave you a check for a thousand dollars, and you're calling her evil and I said, "I mm-hmm. sure am, and I literally bound up that spirit, 
And she literally did not know what to do, so she started shaking. I mm-hmm. ripped up that $1,000, and I said, you are set free through the blood <laughs> of Jesus Christ. And she was set free in seconds, and she got up off the ground, uh-huh. and she said, what is going on? I said, woman of God, mm-hmm. I don't know how long, but you've been under a spell, a mm-hmm. literally a demonic religious spirit. And I'm here mm-hmm. to break it, and you are now set free. See, in this whole time, uh, this whole mm-hmm. time, people thought she was just this mighty woman of God giving uh-huh. out money, and she yes. was actually a woman that was under a spell. See, and that's uh-huh. the problem. Mm-hmm. We don't want to. We don't want to think about this scripture. We don't want to yes. talk about this scripture because too many people are getting uh-huh. wealthy from yes. people that are under a spell or under a vex. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And it's time that we quit thinking about money. It's time we yes. quit thinking about merchandise. Yeah. And it's time we quit yes. thinking about luxury homes and luxury cars. And it's time we start looking at the souls of a human being and saying, yes. do they really know Jesus Christ? That, that's why money is the root, is, the love of money is the root of all evil. Pastor, how yeah, do you know if the person, how do you know pastor if the person is, uh, is having a spell? Uh, because for the simple fact is that their eyes will look in like in their glaze. They'll, uh-huh. they'll look in like their gaze are confused. And see, uh-huh. when somebody gives me that kind of money, I know for a fact they're under a spell. Okay. Amen. I had, yeah. I had a person Amen. give me a beautiful, beautiful diamond ring. And believe me, sister, I literally was ready to, to challenge a warrior angel for it. Because I was ready to say, no, this ring is mine. And I could hear the voice of God saying, no, Uh you need to give it back. And I said, no, this ring is mine. I want to keep it. (laughs) Uh (laughs) And see, I was really ready to fight a warrior angel for that ring. But Uh I knew in my heart that ring did not belong to me, even though it was given to me. And Uh when you know it, that ring was given to me by a gentleman that was under a curse. Mm-hmm. Oh. Whoa. See, wow. when, I, when, I, when he was oh. set free, that ring, merely, he was so excited about getting it back. But I'll tell you, Amen. out of any ring I've ever seen in my life, for a man to wear a diamond, that was the largest diamond ring I've ever seen in my life. And it was hard for me to give up. I'll tell mm-hmm. you this. <laughs> Uh-huh. I was ready to say, okay, I'll challenge you for it. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. I was more concerned about the person's soul than I yeah. was how excited I was about the size of the diamond. See, and that's Amen. where we've missed the mark. If so yes. many people are so excited about how much education they got, they're so yes. excited about how many books they've read or how many places <laughs> they've gone to speak that they forgot about the meaning is to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. But Amen. Pastor, Pastor, I don't have the diamond to give you. Okay, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have the diamond to give you. <laughs> <laughs> I just love you, sister. You are so funny. <laughs> but no, yes. I, but once again, though, if it goes back to, are you honoring, worshiping, glorifying, yes. and exalting, yes. and praising the name of Jesus Christ? If you're not then why are you out there doing anything at all? You should just get back in your home, go back to bed, and literally start asking God to forgive you for being (laughs) hard-hearted. Because I'll tell you, there is conferences I've walked out of because when a person says I over Uh and over again, I'm done. I just just Uh leave. And people are looking at me like, where are you going? And it's like, I tell them, it's not about... (laughs) It's not about exposing the darkness. It's not about uh-huh. Tim Thompson. It's about uh-huh. worshiping, glorifying, exalting, praising as a name of Jesus Christ. It's all about his glory. He's yes. the one that should get all glory. <laughs> He's the one that should be, everybody should shout their name. Mm-hmm. I've actually uh-huh. walked out of Christian concerts before. Because one uh-huh. Christian concerts where people were shouting the person's name. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, he, through his mercy and grace, gave that person the power to praise him, and yet Amen. here we are as Christians, we're worshiping the worshiper. Hallelujah. Yes. 
Oh, it, it's so hot in here. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pastor. Uh, I I don't know if we have time to to read all these things. I won't be able to read all this stuff. But uh, yeah, I have something on on sis. Austria. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sis. Excuse yes. me, real quick for interrupting you. I yes. like to ask the pastor a question as well. Yes. What about uh, what about the stones? How do you feel about the stones? Like, you know, stones for protection. Stones. You know, they have stones for different. <laughs> I, I laugh at those. I laugh at you those. Laugh in at fact, them? in fact, I'll tell you this: I had a person <laughs> that got saved, uh-huh. and through this, through the ministry, and they gave me three very, very valuable stones. And one of them, yes. I about fell over when I found the price. And mm-hmm. so I went to God. And I said, "Okay, God, what do you want me to do?" And He said, "Bury him in your yard." I said, "Just <laughs> put him in the ground." He said, "Put him in the ground." So that's what I did. Well. About a year later, the person's <laughs> sister got hold of me and said, hey, you still have those stones? And I said, I sure do. And she said, well, I'm going to buy them. I buy them. And I said, impossible. I, she said, why? And I said, because I buried them in my yard. <laughs> she started screaming at me and calling me horrible names. And she said, you've got to be one of the dumbest people I've ever met in my life. I said, no. Nope. I said, actually, it was oh a lot of fun to bury them because nobody will ever find them where I buried them. <laughs> That's just it. I want Jesus Christ exalted and praised. Yes. I want Jesus Christ to be the one that they glorify. I don't want yes. anything in my life that's going to interfere in that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I touch that's and agree. Sorry. So, so one more question, real quick. Yes. So if yes. you feel that a loved one, someone you know, may be under a spell, okay, uh, other than the blood of Jesus, because I plead the blood and power and prayer when you call uh-huh. upon the name of Jesus, you have faith uh-huh. and believe. So what other way that you know that will look help this person? Oh, I pray over a candy and then I give it to him. <laughs> Amen. I pray over everything I eat and I give it to him as well. Well, no, yeah, I'm serious. I, I, pray over, I love giving away, I love giving away chocolate candies, and then I will pray over them, and then I'll give them out to people, and they don't realize that they've actually been anointed by several people who are, we will pray and pray hours and hours over them because we want to, we want them to feel the anointing of God when they bite into it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, okay, Pastor. Okay, so Even... I need to give my loved one some chocolate, and I always pray yeah. over everything. There's no weapon won't form against them. <laughs> Jesus. Well, make sure, make sure it's a Ferrero chocolate, okay? Because that's what I like. Ferrero. <laughs> 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 no, just any kind of job. Pastor, even those um, even those pictures of like Jesus Christ and stuff like that, those are false to uh, to uh, to worship, right? Even pictures that you hang, that's false well, to worship. Well, you can have right? them, but I mean, you uh-huh. don't worship them, but you can have them because there are some of them are pretty, so you can have uh-huh. them for that reason. It's like having a rock that says "I'm blessed" and you want to put that in your yard. Go ahead. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because you people are walking by and they're looking at that rock thing. Yes. I'm blessed, so that's what you do. Oh, yes, and if yes, you want to yes. you want to carry around a, a a bag of salt and throw it on the weeds outside, you go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> go for it. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's really funny. So yes. Okay, yeah. Pastor. Uh, uh, let me let me read something on on the screen before these people they they just keep popping up a lot of them. Austria, he said, okay. you guys you guys uh, have to say that if you celebrate Halloween, you are sinning. Austria, for, uh, Jennifer, uh, hello Austria, ka, ka, uh, welcome to Baby Cell. He said that you guys mm-hmm. mean to say that if you celebrate Halloween, you are sinning. You guys are so wrong. Sinning is doing wrong, not, uh, wrong, not celebrating Halloween. You already explained that, that it's no good. So well, he, it's the day of the beast. Uh, it's the one it's day to like, where literally uh-huh. witches and Satanists will all come together and mm-hmm. literally worship the moon and they'll worship 
all the, the things of the darkness. If right. she feels that way, she needs to really understand that uh-huh. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 says, we have the mind of Christ. Amen. I cannot amen. imagine yes. Jesus Christ putting on a mask and mm-hmm. literally wanting to scare people because the Bible says that fear comes from the evil one. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, every okay, so, a, a lot of a lot of people now are afraid of coronavirus, this evil one, okay? What? What? Right, right. right. That thing is so what she's saying doesn't make sense. So no, yeah. keep reading the questions, my dear sister. Uh, that's all she said, Pastor. She said that you guys need to say that if you celebrate Halloween, you are sinning. You guys are so wrong. Sinning is not do it, it, so sinning is doing wrong, not celebrating Halloween. In other words, she celebrates right, Halloween. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, now, is there I more have, questions? Yes, a lot more. Singapore. Uh, uh, Ling Ling. Again, I am a regular listener baby said show. I take my dogs for Halloween party, dress them up, and this is not for me. So uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's for, it's for my dogs. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I don't. I don't think Pastor can 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 answer that question. Can you answer that question, Pastor? Uh, what that she dresses up for dog? And... Yeah, she said that she dresses yeah, up for sure. dogs for Halloween. So it's not for it's not for him. His name is Ling Ling okay, Singapore. Sure. <laughs> it's Singapore. Yeah, I yes. guess you could tell her to go ahead and give um, all the wings outside too a bunch of salt. It'll probably make them feel good. <laughs> Okay, uh, California. His her name is Lisa. She said, "All, all of all this world is dying. We all need to repent, 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 repent." Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just reading what they're writing over here. California, Lisa. So, uh, do you do you uh, do, so, Pastor? Those are celebrating Halloween. Do do they need to repent? Yes, especially and Christians. repent of a lot of things. Yes, yes, it's, it's totally a cult to them. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Canada. Her name is Lydia. I said I sell a lot of this stuff for Halloweens and pumpkins, and it's still selling until now. So. I don't. I don't think Halloween is, is bad because it's uh it's my 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 business is profiting. Again, you mentioned about Canada she a while ago. She needs to understand that in the Bible, the Apostle Paul literally came against the spirits that was mm-hmm. literally being used to be made through the mm-hmm. and by the by the crafters. They were making images of these spirits, and people would worship them, and they would sell mm-hmm. them. And when Paul mm-hmm. cast the demons out, these mm-hmm. people could no longer support their business anymore because mm-hmm. people then realized that those were spirits. So he's saying that, hey, it's my business, but yet there were mm-hmm. people in the Bible <clears throat> that were literally doing evil too, and, and, got, and they repented. So she should mm-hmm. repent too. Okay, you should repent too, Canada, Lydia. Denmark, Denmark, welcome to Baby Set Show. Her name is Sally. I'm just happy that I'm 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 uh, I'm far away from the city. We don't have issues here about that stuff. Okay, thank you so much. <clears throat> we move on. Nebraska, Nebraska, Jenny, shut it off. You kids are depressed nowadays for this pandemic. Let them live and have some fun, and let them be usable. Oh well, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what's usable on a Halloween thing? Okay, they said that the kids are depressed and they want to be on Halloween. What what would you say that, Pastor? <clears throat> well, it's just and it's an excuse. This that's like saying, hey, we're going through hard times, so let's go ahead and let's get drunk. See, it's the same concept. Mm-hmm. Sin is yes. sin. Whether you are mm-hmm. going through hard times or not, it's your choice to sin. So she's just making an excuse for sin. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Okay. <clears throat> Michigan. Rebecca. Rebecca, Michigan. Okay. <clears throat> she said 
We need to go fasting before Halloween to stop this devil's day. Pastor? Mm -hmm. Well, she the said thing is that she, she's wrong because she doesn't understand that Halloween has been a, a foundation that this country has allowed in because mm -hmm. this country is not founded on godly principles. So for uh, for her to make that kind of statement is kind of silly because this mm -hmm. country loves evil. That's right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, now the time is the right is being wrong and the and the wrong is is right right now in this world and it's sad, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, mm -hmm. Virginia, Julie, July, July. Let me ask everybody: Who are you celebrating every day? If you Jesus, guys are Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. If you guys are every celebrating Jesus. Let me let me let me finish what you're saying. Hi. Oh, that's a she or he. Oh. If you guys are celebrating Jesus, then you shouldn't make this a big issue, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Well, I well the thing is, is that is we're not making it a big issue. We're literally exposing it. We're not making a big issue of it. We're exposing mm -hmm. the evil of it. Mm -hmm. that's okay, we're saying that what she's not understanding is that mm -hmm. we're just exposing the evil in it. Amen. Amen. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's Virginia, July. Louisiana, Martha, there are Christians who have a double face. They call themselves Christians still celebrating Halloween. Shame on you. Oh, well, I'm not celebrating. <laughs> 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 she said there are Christians who are double face. So, uh, Pastor, what can you say about these double face Christians? Are, are they I, look I, warm, there's, or? there's a lot of mm -hmm. There's a lot of Christians that are Yes, that are that are exactly they're right because I have actually it's sad it's very heartbreaking to the point to where I've actually broken down and crying because I've mm -hmm. actually met Christians that claim that they're not racist but yet mm -hmm. they don't want they want a white world community yeah and I tell them yeah, that's a double that. that's, a, that's a double standard you're you're mm -hmm. claiming to be a Christian but yet you want a certain race that's just pure evil. Mm hmm Pastor, even mm -hmm. black are like that. I'm sorry. I mean, Evangelist Jacqueline is black here, so, you know, I'm just saying, you know, there's only one race. <laughs> even blacks are like that. Some some blacks, they want only black people go to their church, and that is that is sad, too. I don't want that, you know. That's, you know, I'm sorry, but I, I, have, I have to say it, you know. I, even, even not only white pastor, but all, all, all kinds of uh, all nation, you know, like uh, Filipino, Filipino, Asian, mm -hmm. Asian, uh, everyone should be welcome. We are one in Christ Jesus. Right, Pastor? Yes, we are. See, that's the yeah. thing Amen. you realize is that all lives matter. No matter what, no matter who you are, all lives matter. Oh, you know, the problem, no, Pastor, tell you is this, it, sister, yes. I dropped mm -hmm. a bomb last year because I think I told you this, but a bomb, I, am, a bomb? I am single. I'm single, and when I let people know last year on social media uh -huh. that if a after, if an African American woman came into my life mm -hmm. and was really involved in spiritual warfare and wanted to get to know me, I said I would date an African American easily, Woo! even though I'm Caucasian, because I am 100% against any type of racism. Evangelist Jacqueline is married. <laughs> Evangelist Jacqueline is a joke, right? Evangelist Jacqueline, you yes. hear? Yes. Evangelist I'm here. Jacqueline, yes, okay. So, on yes. Idaho. One thing about the black churches, the reason yes. why, you know, a lot of black churches is because back in the old days, black people could not go to church with white people. So, therefore, all the people mm -hmm. in the church were black. But mm -hmm. that was the reason, because they were not uh -huh. allowed to go with white people back in the cloth. Mm -hmm. But God is a God of no color. Mm -hmm. Whosoever he Amen. said, come as you are. Amen. Mm -hmm. I thought it's the tradition. Mm -hmm. That's why they wanted though, <laughs> I I want to make this very clear, though, and that mm -hmm. is that I have actually been loved more. I, I have to say this. Mm -hmm. I have actually been loved and respected more. In an African American church yeah. where everybody uh -huh. was black, yeah. that I have been treated 
in churches Woo-hoo. where Woo-hoo. they were all Caucasian. I do have to say yes. that, and Amen. I'm not racist, Hallelujah. but I'll tell you, yes. the way that I have been treated in churches with an all African American people has been just <laughs> shocking. Love. Where the love, yes. the love that yes. I've got yes. was yes. just overwhelming. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor, Praise we have God. the same, the same thing, the same as me. <laughs> I have more, <laughs> I have more Afro-American friends. I want to tell to the whole world, I have more Afro-American friends. Okay. <laughs> I just want, but I love everybody. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Idaho, Idaho, James, you can't change people's belief and outlook. You just pay for them. If they can't sell, if they if they want to celebrate, let them. Just don't participate with it. What do you say? You say well, that you can't change people's you know, belief sounds, and outlook. That sounds real legalistic, and that sounds mm-hmm. really pretty. But the problem mm-hmm. is, is that if you allow, if you accept that that terminology. Yes. And that's like saying, hey, if everybody wants to go to hell, just let them. Do you, do you see how silly that sounds? No. Yeah, you, don't tell them. You, don't just, you don't just take people by the hand and help them uh-huh. find their way into hell. No, I'm going gonna, yes. I'm gonna to help as many souls as I can uh-huh. find their way to heaven because I want them to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's, it's selfish. We cannot be selfish. Too. We don't no, the air you today. Can't. Is, no. We, uh, Okay, with us on the air today is another another brother. Brother Doyle, welcome to the show, brother. Oh, thank you he's so much. Country, welcome, brother Doyle. He's a country singer. He's a country singer. Okay. <laughs> you don't have time to sing right now, brother Doyle, because we're about to end the show. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but, I, I, but I, we... I really, I really apologize because I just got off work from... I was, I was working for a guy here doing some work for him, and I just got off. We're, we appreciate you being here. With us today, with us today is is a well known Satanist before, and uh, he's been a controversial his story from PBN TV, uh, Seven Hundred Club, and Charisma Magazine. Pastor Tim Thompson yeah. is right here, brother Doyle. Just just go along with us as we go on. Okay, Pastor Tim, um, okay. I have New Orleans, New Orleans in Julia. He stopped being. Uh, Phony as a Christian. Didn't you grow as a child before too and have fun? If you take this fun away from the children and you call it evil, then you are the one who's evil because you're removing the fun day for the kids. New Orleans, Julia. Pastor Tim? Uh, well, the thing is, is that <laughs> here's the thing. The Bible clearly uh-huh. states that God's ways are not our ways. His ways are above our ways. And that's Amen. why Amen. he needs to look Amen. at Mark. Chapter 8, verse 17, it says, why do you reason? See, uh-huh. if, if, Jesus is, if Jesus is showing us how much evil is out there, and we can see that, uh-huh. then why are we trying to figure out how to make it look good? That's like seeing, uh-huh. that, that's why seeing these people that, that are, are out there committing sexual sins and they're sleeping around, uh-huh. they'll say, well, I'm praying to God that he'll protect me from diseases. And I'm mm-hmm. saying that's ridiculous. You're uh-huh. going out and doing something that you know is evil, and yet you want God to protect you. That's ridiculous. You mm-hmm. cannot sugarcoat mm-hmm. anything that's evil. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Okay. North Dakota, Pastor Matt. Put it this way. If there's no Halloween, there's no fun or, or treats. Okay. Well, <laughs> we we don't celebrate Halloween. Was uh, where this is the show that we're talking about, uh, Matt from North Dakota. We we all disagree about Halloween. So there so there is no fun or treat here. There's no fun or treat here. So so technically Matt has to, and I don't mean this as an insult, but yes, a person sir. that says that kind of stuff must be very boring. And the reason I say that <laughs> is because I don't need to dress up in a costume. I don't need to eat a bunch of candy, and I don't need to have a bunch of pumpkins that are carved in my house for me to feel like I'm having fun. Actually, I can have fun at a carnival. I can actually can put on a movie, or mm-hmm. I can or I can bring over a bunch of people and have just a, a light barbecue or have just a, a dinner party. That you can have fun. 
So you don't need to be an evil to have fun. So his excuse of that that's the only way to have fun, he's got to be a really boring person uh, or a really boring life. Oh, wow, 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 wow boring life. <laughs> Okay, Pastor. Sorry, sorry, Matt. Uh, it's the Pastor team who uh, corrected there. Finland. Hello, Finland. George. Name is George. Okay. Uh, real Halloween is the church people who are full of judgmental. They are ugly. I still support Halloween for the kids. Pastor? Uh, once again, those are people think that the Bible is a bunch of do's and don'ts. And yes. the problem is, is that they've met people that are legalistic, where mm-hmm. they need to they need to be around me because see I'm not legalistic. I mm-hmm. I don't care if you want to paint your hair orange or pink and you want to wear a a purple outfit or or a purple yes. tuxedo. No matter how you're dressed, no matter what you look like, I'm we're gonna go out and we're gonna have fun, and we can yes. do all kinds of fun stuff. Yes, and we don't need to have a bunch of sugar. And we don't Amen. need to look like we're scary. We can just have fun. And mm-hmm. seeing the thing is, if that person only sees Christians as being judgmental, then they're around the wrong people. Mm-hmm. Amen. Okay, all of they these. They need uh, to be around you. Yes. Baby, they need to be around you. Hallelujah. This, this, Hallelujah. Go ahead. Uh, baby, yes. Yes. What I was going to say is I understand and respect what the pastor is saying, but as a child, because you know, when you become a man, then therefore you put away your childish things. Okay, mm-hmm. said the Lord. But as a child, when Halloween come, majority of all my life growing up, every kid that I knew, look, in mm-hmm. a big city or whatever, they, they look forward to the sweets, because all kids love sweets, and the, and the Halloween costumes. Because I guess uh, their tradition or they don't, you know, they look at it as supposed to be, I mean, their child is fun. Or whatever to them, you understand, and that's why we are right. parents. Right, but see, we covered this at the very beginning, the and I said, I told parents, I said, there is no harm in uh-huh. going out and buying your child a bag of candy. <laughs> and if they yes. want, to, and if they want to dress up in a certain outfit, and they're going to be inside, so what? Let them. Yes. Oh yeah, yes. man. There's no harm in your child eating a bag of candy and sitting up and watching a movie. And being dressed like an Indian or being dressed like a cowboy. There's no sin in that. <laughs> no, if you want to be goofy, let them be goofy. I, I want to dress like a mermaid. That's what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, all, all these questions are all garbage. I'm sorry, but in the world, these are all garbage. I, have, I, have, but I will read it to you. Australia, Ron, just glad that there is still pandemic, and I know uh, this time we'll, uh, we don't celebrate this holiday here in Australia. Ron, okay, so there's pandemic. Again. I'll go to India. India, his name is Kuljit. Here in India, we do not celebrate Halloween. America does. That's why kids have no conduct. Whoa, whoa. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Brother Doyle, are you saying something before we go to Pastor Tim? I just, I just said you talk about being judgmental. That's very judgmental to say something like that because okay. to, the kids, mm-hmm. to the kids, Halloween, to the kids nothing, Halloween's nothing but just a time to get candy for free. And that's okay. the way, I, that's the way we used to Amen. Amen, Brother Doyle. Amen. Well, he just said we keep America. We, 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 we grew up very poor, and we looked forward to Halloween when I was a kid because we couldn't even afford candy bars or anything like that. Amen. So Hallelujah. We kids in my family, and this was in the 40s, and we looked forward to Halloween because we could go out and actually fill a bag with candy, and it would last us for three or four weeks. And that's the thing we used to get. Okay, Pastor Tim, can you answer that? We didn't know we celebrated anything. That's what and it wasn't can, so can, much, Brother Doyle, I'm going to speak on it. It wasn't so much as us doing evil, but like you said, growing up in them days where your mom couldn't even afford candy. So kids, like I said, in the big city I come from, they looked forward to that, getting the candy yeah. because they, that's the only time they that's could it. get candy. So it, it's not like, you know, you know they, they were yeah. evil. But, but how, many t- how many times did you go to the dentist? Did you have diabetes? Did you have diabetes after you eating see, those candies? You, you see my beautiful smile, sister. I ate the candy, but guess what? Thank God my mommy kept me at the dentist, and I still got my real teeth. 
Praise God. I'm missing one, oh, though. I've got to go get that one. Oh, you're missing one. <laughs> it's not missing, you're missing one. A lot of you're missing one. But see, you got to understand something. Right uh, what we're talking about, though, tonight. Look at my smile. My big smile. The, the stuff missing. we're talking about tonight, though, everyone, yes, yes, is that what does your heart really say? Yes. What is your what is your real heart? Because see, because see, here's the thing. If yeah. in the book of Leviticus, chapter yes. nineteen, verse thirty one, it says, mm-hmm. "Give no regard to mediums and familiar spirits." Yes. Mm-hmm. And yet, yeah. and yet, when you when yet when you light a candle, and you're hoping to attract an energy, a spirit, an entity, you're literally trying to attract. A familiar spirit. Yes. When you dress mm-hmm. up in a costume to scare people, you are literally trying to arouse demonic spirits, which are mm-hmm. familiar spirits. See mm-hmm. what I mean? I mean, yes. we can say, well, I was poor, and so I did this. Well, I met a man one time that literally was very poor, and him and his wife did not have much money. Mm-hmm. And he was putting tattoos on people because that's how he mm-hmm. made extra money. Yes. And I asked him, I said, point blank, though, is that when you stand before God, mm-hmm. what are you going to say to him when he says, why did you put mm-hmm. evil markings on people's bodies? Uh-huh. And when he realized that he's going to actually have to give an account, he mm-hmm. realized, wow, we may need to stop everything we're doing and start asking ourselves, Am I really honoring God? And see, that's why I'm saying to you, it is so extremely important to teach our children, to teach mm-hmm. our spouse, to yes. really, really show everybody that we can. Yes. If we're not honoring, worshiping, glorifying, exalting, or praising the name of Jesus Christ, why are we doing what we're doing in life? Mm-hmm. See, because I, I, there was... Social media that I thought was very powerful. Uh-huh. A young man who was full of tattoos. He was uh-huh. wearing raggedy clothing. Right. He was reading a Bible on a bench, and two people uh-huh. were sitting there, and all their thoughts were, "He's no, he's no saint. He's an ugly man. He's going to go to hell. He doesn't even uh-huh. realize how filthy he is." And see, uh-huh. that's our perspective. Is is that yes. we're so busy focusing on what we see mm-hmm. that we have forgotten the importance of why do we serve Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. Because it yes. doesn't matter if you're work. it doesn't matter if you're a French fry maker or, or if you're working construction or you're working uh, as a as a cement uh, truck driver or you're or you're driving a semi truck. It doesn't matter what you're doing. What matters is, are you glorifying Jesus Christ Yo, in everything yes. you're doing? Amen. Because Amen. I have met people that were Amen. making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year that, by all appearance, were very righteous, and yet they would sit back and look at porn all day long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. I've also met people that were Amen. very poor, and yet were extremely loving. And one of them was that the yes. church where I spoke at in Alabama, this family had nothing, and yet they treated me like I was a king in their house. Hallelujah. Yes. You see my point? Um, yes, Pastor. So that's why we need to ask ourselves, no matter what we're doing, no matter what time of year it is, no matter what day it is, no matter what hour it is, are we really living for Christ or are we not? Whoo! Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Yes. Okay, all these questions I have Argentina, France, and Italy. I'm not gonna ask a question. I'm not gonna read those again because they're all like the same uh, thing. Argentina, Elizabeth, thank you for for writing. I'm not be able to uh, question to uh, read that because it's all the same thing as France in Bob, uh, Bob Italy, Lordana. Okay, uh, Lordana said I, I read this to you. But first, first pastor, you said that uh, Cool Jit on India said that America America does celebrate Halloween. That's why the kids have no conduct. What would you say about that? Uh, let me hear uh, Sister Marilu because she's, she's been quiet for a little bit. Sister, Sister oh, Marilu. We, we have to reverse the terminology that they use, trick or treat. We have to say Jesus is the best treat. 
Oh yeah, but Amen. but I, 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 yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't think you listen. You, you, you have best. listened to my question. It's too far away. <laughs> we, we, we cannot we cannot do the cup uh, with the Lord on the and the and the, the cup of demons. We cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. You know. Okay, okay, Pastor Kim. It says that America does uh, celebrate Halloween. That's why the kids have no conduct. From India. Oh, no. That's... What would you say? I would, I would bust out laughing at them. And the reason why is yes. because for the simple fact is that we can't say it's because of this one thing. No, we've yes. got to look at we got to look at what our forefathers did. Like, oh, mm-hmm. oh here's a prime example. Okay. Amen. When when the gold mines were open in the in the seventeen hundred eighteen hundreds when the gold mines mm-hmm. were opening and everybody was getting all this wealthiness, a lot of the states would literally open up uh, prostitute houses so that yes. way the miners could keep mining and be well taken care of. Mm-hmm. And then Amen. other states would literally instead of instead of literally getting rid of people that were filled with greed. They actually influenced greed to where people were actually being murdered because of greed, and nobody would ever do anything about it. So, see, you mm-hmm. can't say children of today are because of a certain holiday. No, you need to go way back, and you need to look at what sins are in our father, forefathers' past that we need to start repenting of. Amen. Oh. Okay, we don't have much time. We don't have much time right now. We got like 10, 10 15 minutes. Let me let me just um let me just read what Lord Donna in Italy said. Italy from hello Italy. He, uh, he said she said that I don't see any problem about Halloween. Is it, it is the people that celebrate is the problem. The people that see the sweet Halloween as pagan, so was Christmas pagan too. Pastor Tim, can you answer this question before we we all leave on this uh, this show? We don't have much time. I, I didn't understand the question. I'm sorry about this, sister. I didn't understand the question. Lord Donna from Italy, he said, I don't see any problem about Halloween. It is the people that celebrate has a problem about Halloween. The the people that that see as a pagan, and and Christmas is pagan too, as you celebrate it. In other words, it's a pagan see, holiday. That's like, but. See what she's but see what she's doing is is that she's wanting to literally say, Hey, it's not the substance, it's the people that are causing the problems. But mm-hmm. see that's but see what she's not understanding is is that that's like saying, Hey, we can't blame, you know, the bars for serving mm-hmm. the drinks because they're only mm-hmm. doing a service. We need to blame the people that are getting out there on the roads and committing uh drunken driving and killing people. Well, no, mm-hmm. it doesn't work that way. Mm-hmm. Everybody should be accountable. If the mm-hmm. people would stop doing their evil, we would actually mm-hmm. see that like Halloween would disappear. If people mm-hmm. would stop glorifying the things of the Antichrist, we'd actually see that holiday disappear and it'd be gone Hallelujah, for good. yes. yes. Too many people, they love the sin that's inside their heart. They mm-hmm. love the things of the flesh. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, one, one last mm-hmm. thought. Uh, I'm gonna give opportunity for each one of us to uh, to say something. One last thought because we don't we're running out of time and we we end up with Pastor Tim. One last thought. Uh, w- one last thought uh, for you, uh, Brother Doyle. Yes. Go ahead. One last thought. The, uh, no. what, what 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 would no. you say about this Halloween? Go ahead. Well, you know, uh, her talking about the pagan holiday and all that, which uh, it is, but. Yet the thing is, you got you got to look at the people again that's, that's celebrating and what they're doing. What I what I think causes more trouble than anything else isn't isn't the celebration of certain things. It's the lack of it's the lack of the parents. Like we when we was growing up, my mom and dad both used to whip me with a belt and a switch, and I learned to follow the rules and not break the rules. Today uh-huh. we don't make our Amen. we don't make our kids follow the rules. They they get to break the rules. They get to carry phones around when they're five and six years old, playing games on them and things like this. So I mean, we need okay. to start pointing kids closer to God. Take these mm-hmm. little things away from them and put them closer in touch with God. Start teaching hey, the I, Bible. Start, start teaching God's word to them. Well, I, I grew mm-hmm. up with my dad with the butt butt. 
<laughs> I'm afraid with my dad, my late dad. But okay, uh, uh, Sister Marilou, last word, last thought. Sister Marilou? Um, and, um, <clears throat> yes, yes, I understand everything that the pastor was saying about the reality of demonic spirits appearing during this time, especially during this time of the oh, yeah. year, when, when, because of the uh, familiar spirits that are coming in. But at the same time, we can honor Christ and love our neighbors. We need to show love to them. We can also enjoy getting to know the neighbor. <clears throat> we can dress up as a biblical character. We can give mm-hmm. our tracks along with, with the family. And we can tell the people and give the gospel and say, Jesus is the best treat of all. Amen. 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 Sister. Amen. Okay. Amen. Uh, okay, then, Jules Jacqueline, last thought. I'm, I don't okay. have any right now. It's just been a blessing you, listening to it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pastor Tim, last thought, Pastor? Oh, yes, I just wanted to let everybody know that that just really take the time to develop a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Instead of walking around and telling people what to do and how they should do this, why don't we as adults, why don't we start doing what we're telling others to do? Why aren't we doing it? Amen. Pray Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Take the time Amen. and step back. And we need to start really finding out who is Jesus Christ really in my life. Hallelujah. What is he really what is he really wanting me to do? You see, it's so easy to teach and it's so easy to preach and it's so easy to tell kids and tell older adults what to do. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, are we really doing it? Are we are doing, we really doing it? that we know to do? Oh. Amen. Are we, we really doing it? Amen. And I can yeah. fool you, I can fool you, you can fool me, but we can't fool Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Tim, uh, can, you tell, can, you, can you tell the audience how to follow you, where to follow you, where to find you, sir? Yes, uh, it's very simple. It's, I have two websites. One of them is Pastor Tim Thompson, that's T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N dot com, or you can go to exposingthedarkness.com. And both Hallelujah. of them have got my email address on there. I, they, one of them has got my phone number on there, but if you want information, I've even got a company that actually made me a media pack, and I don't know if anybody out there knows what a media pack is, but mm-hmm. a media pack is, a, is what companies hire other companies to be able to say, this is what the company can offer you if you come partners with them. Well, I had mm-hmm. a company develop me a media pack, and they did it 100% free for me. So if mm-hmm. you want anything, to, if you want to invite me in to be mm-hmm. put on a conference or a seminar, I can email you a media pack. The biggest thing is, is that I just want people to know that I am really, really, in this time of year, when I get love offerings, they are greatly needed because I have so many people that are reaching out to the ministry, especially mm-hmm. this time of year. So anybody that can send a love offering, I would deeply appreciate it. And like I said, I've got, I do have a mailing address. It's not my PO box, so do not send anything to my PO box. But I do have a mailing address, an actual home address, and I actually do have PayPal on both of my websites. But I just oh, really want people to know that whatever you do, make sure that Jesus Christ is the one that's being glorified. Hallelujah. Because Amen. He's the one. He's the one that shed his blood. He's the one that literally paid the ultimate price. And too many people are literally forgetting about that, and they're literally trying to focus on their ministry. And that's why I appreciate this radio show. This radio Hallelujah. show mm-hmm. is a strong representation of what the body of Christ should actually be like. And that is you should Amen. love people. Just love them. Love them. And allow the, the Spirit of God to work through you to bless others. Amen. I am so, so happy. Have, it's so so happy. Baby, I just really want to, I am so deeply honored to come back on your show, and I just really yes. want to 
Thank you so yes, much. Pastor. I am so deeply honored to come yes, back Pastor. on your show for a second time. I am honored, Pastor. Her, his books, he has a lot of bestseller warfare books. Grab it, people. Grab it, audiences. Go to Walmart and buy it. It's on sale right now, right, Pastor? It's on sale. And from, uh, from yes. Ninja But actually, I've written, I've written 14 books. And if you want to know how to pray to where yes. you are going to see results, Get the prayers of a warrior. If you prayers want to know warrior. secrets that mm-hmm. Satanists don't want you to know, get my book, yes. What Satanists Don't Want You to Know. Uh, if yes. you want to get my, if you want to understand demons to where you can start understanding the mind of a demon, get my yes. book, Demons Exposed. Demons Exposed has sold so many copies that it's literally became a hardbound book now, to where yes. now it's offered in, in hardbound because so many thousands of people. In fact, yes. it's one of the only books that literally is written about demons that is yes. allowed in secular colleges because yes. the book literally does not give you a, a rose-colored glass. It really exposes demonic powers and how they operate to destroy people, and it will open up your eyes to a whole new level of spiritual warfare. But that's what all my books are about. Powerful. And if Powerful. you do not believe that a cult or a Satanist can actually control the whole entire yes. city, you need to read my book, When Evil When Evil Whispers. Because the book uh, Evil okay. Whispers goes into great detail about how mm-hmm. a whole entire community was destroyed because of the planting of wicked powers. I'm in. My, my friends, I just want people to come to know that mm-hmm. Jesus Christ is the answer and all of my books, one thing you'll find about every one of my books and every one of my teachings, yes. Jesus Christ is exalted, glorified, praised, and Ooh, honored, yes. and worshipped, and glorified. Yes. That's but that's so, what we like... as Christians need to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. Pastor, beside, beside the Walmart, where can they uh, find your books? Beside Walmart. Oh, Amazon. 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 And Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, Barnes and, Noble. and now my books are being offered actually at different uh, Bible colleges. And then now my books are being offered on two different Spanish websites now too. Oh, so it's great, kind of great. amazing because my books are available now in Russia, and they're also oh. available throughout. And uh, get this, this is so exciting! I just won in a major award for my book on suicide prevention. In April, uh-huh. they claim that in in April I won a major award, and this is so. This yeah. is the power of Jesus Christ. They're Hallelujah. estimating that yeah. that book that I wrote on suicide prevention has helped save 250,000 young people's lives. 250,000. Yeah. Oh, wow! And see, and here I am, and this is what's so exciting. Remember, my friends, I have no college. No yes. biblical training, but <laughs> yet God is using Woo! me because Jesus Christ is being glorified. If you want to know more about, yes. the, more about my teachings, contact yes. me. But remember this. If you start feeling weak, stressed out, doubting, really starting to worry, starting to be concerned, you start really starting having problems, Remember this, and don't ever forget it. You need to humble yourself and ask God for a double <laughs> dose of the Holy Ghost. Double dose. Double dose of the Holy Ghost. Double dose. Yes, get that double dose. Man, okay, I want to. It's an honor to be with you here, Pastor Tim. He he's been featured on TV and TV, uh, Seven Hundred Club and Charisma Magazine, and all these uh, spiritual warfare books are all over the place, uh, nationwide and and worldwide as well. So search for it, Pastor Tim Thompson. Thank you very much for being here, sir, and God bless you and more power, Jesus Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, yes, sir, I, I, I just you. really want to thank you again. I'm so deeply honored to be on your show a second time. So yes, hopefully Pastor. we will stay in touch. Yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Yes, we'll, we'll forward something to you. Yes, but, okay. But God bless and have a wonderful <laughs> evening. God bless. Yes, Pastor.
Okay, I, I would like to thank our sponsor, Sales Jewelry. Thank you for sponsoring the show. 30% off still. Planet Fitness, still sponsor of the show. Oh, the zone. Wendy's Hamburger, ADT Security Alarm System, yes, uh, burglary and carbon monoxide detection, Dish Network, www.gotoalwayssendflowers.com, and Del Taco, we want to thank you for being a sponsor, Senior Life Insurance. Uh, thank you for sponsoring the show. 855-982-7244. DYP501. They said for 40% discount. And Del Taco now is one of the sponsors of Baby Said Show. And if you want to be sponsor of, of Baby Said Show, write me to, to, to Baby Said Show P.O. Box 40921, Bakersfield, California, 93384. Again, Baby Said Show P.O. Box 40921, Bakersfield, California, 93384. Oh, of course, if, if you are a participant of Baby Said Show, uh, I will not uh, regret you giving free T-shirt. Me and and Sister Aba, uh, Evangelist Jacqueline are partners with this T-shirt, yes. Baby Said Show. And uh, Baby Said Perfume, if you didn't get it one, I'll, I'll send you Baby Said Perfume. And also CD album uh, of Praise and Worship of Baby Said. That's what I'm going to do. Looking at the geography right now, Africa, 10% listeners. Africa. India, Indonesia, no, no, Africa is 20% listeners, yes, 20% listeners, Africa, South and, and, yes, India, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, 15% listeners, Singapore, 20% listeners, Cambodia, 20%, Malaysia, 20%, Philippines, 30% listeners, Liberia, 1% listening, Liberia, Germany, London, uh, uh, Canada, 20% listeners. Croatia, 3% listeners. Zimbabwe, Zambia, Cameroon, Nigeria, Pakistan, 20% listeners. Australia, 25% listening. Australia. And United States of America, 89.8%. United States of America, 89.8%. The frequency is high, and it's so hot here. I want to thank everyone who participated here. Uh, Brother Doyle, thank you very much for participating the show, for being here, even though you're late. We appreciate you being here. Uh, 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 Evangelist Jacqueline, thank you very much for being here all the time. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Sister Mary Lou, yeah. thank you so much, my 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 beloved sister, to be here all the time. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, yes. we love you. And we and we want to thank you for this hot topic. To get the hot, do not after this show. You can click the link again and replay the show. You can click the link again and replay the show. I have said, as I said. So if you want, if you want to replay the show, you can click it again link and replay again and youtube will be will be uh replayed next week for this show god bless you all thank you very much here is our here is our featured song artist today bob fit one of those sana integrity uh song one of the famous contemporary christian in the music industry let's welcome bob bob fit on the show ladies and gentlemen bob fit
bring these costly offerings to you, Father. The worship coming out of our seasons of fire. Like the alabaster, Lord, we will be broken to spill out the fragrance of worship. 